I just got back from the uh, the bovine vet. I took that animal to the uh, the vet this morning. I got my uh, I got a second cup of coffee in my hand right now. I'm out of paper cup, so I got this glass cup. But um, yep. Uh, I don't know. Uh, she looked like maybe she had gotten better overnight. <laughs> Cause when she was uh when, like right now she uh, she walking around just finding everything and but i figured i already i had her put up right here in this little pen so i figured i may as well just take her i mean it, it took me like two and a half hours to get her caught so i figured i may as well just take her and who knows maybe uh may, maybe me chasing her around like that for two and a half hours yesterday helped loosen uh her muscles back up and maybe maybe that's what helped <laughs> i don't know but she seemed like she was doing a lot better this morning I took her over there anyway just to get her looked at and I mean it only cost me $25 right and so I figured I may as well just have her looked at and so I, I went ahead and just took her they said she's fine uh they took a look at the bottom of her foot made sure there was nothing in her foot and so yep she's fine they gave her a uh, an anti-inflammatory injection into her hip and she's doing completely okay she uh, uh, still got her out front I'm gonna let her out front for one more day and if you see the cattle right now, they're all laying around the pond. I haven't given them any grain this morning. I haven't given them any corn. And they don't seem to mind at all. These animals, they have realized what's back there. You know, these animals, they are starting to go straight to the back. So when I open the gate up, they go straight to the back. Now they, they understand what's back there now. You know, they, they went back there and they, they saw all that grass. And so, uh, you know, uh, they'll, they'll go up there and they'll, they'll go all the way back there. And they'll eat the grass and then when it uh, they'll, they'll 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 hang around the pond because it's a little bit cooler the water coming off the pond makes it a little bit cooler and so they like to uh, sit around the pond because it's just a little bit a little bit cooler and so you know uh, when i take a look at everything going on right now i feel like i am ready to uh get everything rolling again i got uh you know, I don't really got much going on, and I and you know what? I actually took a look at my life, and I was like, you know what? Right now, you know, I'm probably I'm barely working. Maybe uh, I'm barely working 80 hours a week, and you know, um, may, maybe even 75. And I was like, you know what? If I wanted to work 75, 80 hours a week, and I wanted to take two to three hours a day off for the rest of my life, and I just wanted to make uh, 90, 100 thousand dollars a year. You know, I could do that. You know, like that that's not no I mean I, if I wanted to make seventy, eighty thousand dollars a year and just work 75, 80 hours a week and you know I could have two to three hours a day off every day and you know just uh you know but uh, you know I, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I feel kind of miserable right now. Um like I don't like doing this, you know. Um, I would rather be out here running cattle. You know, I don't I don't wanna be uh I don't want to be sitting doing nothing for two to three hours a day. For a couple of days, it's fine. You know, for a couple of days, you know, if I want to, if, if I want to sit around and not do anything for two to three hours a day, for four to five, for you know, four or five days, you know, imagine not doing anything. You know, like, uh, imagine not doing anything for three hours a day, five days a week. That's 15 hours that I legitimately just did nothing, right? And I, and, 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 I, and I honestly feel kind of miserable. You know, I'm ready to bring, uh, now I kind of, you know, at, at this point in time, I would say that I am good to go. I'm, uh, you know, I'm ready to bring in more cattle. I have animals that need to go to the market. And, but today I figured I would take uh, time to, to talk about, you know, because I don't really got, uh, I don't really got a lot going on in the, in the cattle department right now, but I figured I would take some time to talk about business. And, uh, you know, what do I think of business, right? How, how do I think of it when, when it comes to business? What do I think about when it comes to business? So the thing about business, like me, okay, so me, I don't act like a Boy Scout, right? Like, I understand that, you know, the thing that, that the, the reason that I get paid, when, when people look at me and they go, oh, man, this guy making a lot of money. Why do I make that money, right? It's because I feed people. You know, each one of these animals, when they're when they're finished, they're going to produce about 700 pounds of beef, maybe a little bit more. You know, if if they get if they get harvested at 1,400 pounds, you know, they're gonna they're gonna be, uh, you know, about 700 pounds. About you know, that that's just a rough estimate, right? You know, what, what, does it really matter if it's uh, you know 750? Does it really matter if it's 650? Not really. It's just to say rough estimate, 700 pounds of beef. So each one of these animals. 
it's gonna produce about 700 pounds of beef and at the end of the day that is why i get paid right i get paid because i, pr I produce something for others to consume and so when it comes to you know when it comes to business i don't act like a boy scout you know i don't sit here and go oh my god you know you know the reason i do this business is so i can help people Oh man, the reason I do this business is because you know, you know, I I feed people. It, you know, me feeding people. You know, it, like if I did not get paid to do this, if I did not make the amount of money that I do, I would not do this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. You know, I'm I'm not gonna. I'm just I'm just gonna be flat out honest. If the money ain't there, I ain't there. You know, I mean, it just is what it is because. You know why? You know I ain't doing this for free, right? And so, you know, the thing about business, you know, I understand what I do, and I, and I understand that at the end of the day, I am feeding tens of thousands of people a year, and I understand that. But you know, that's not why I farm. I'm just gonna be flat out honest, and I'm not saying that I farm because of money. I'm not saying the money's the only reason either. You know, there's a lot of things that go into it. It's not just money. You know. There's a lot of things, you know, like if I'm not doing anything, you know, I feel miserable, you know, there, 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 it's, it's a lot of things. It's not just a one track thing. It's not like, oh my God, you know, he out here just making money. Oh my God, you know, he, uh, you know, he only in it for the money. That, that's, it's not that simple. There are, or there are, there is a lot of things that go into this, right? It's a lot of things that go into this. I, I find my discipline through farming, right? I find my discipline through farming. I find, uh spiritual fulfillment through farming you know uh, you know i find uh, you know i you know I, I you know getting to pay my bills and making money is just a part of it and you know at the end of the day okay so the thing about farming right from what i have seen from farming is that you know people you know everybody does not need to be a farmer to make money right farming is not the only thing that people can do i mean people can do whatever they want i mean it's a free country right the government's not going to say you have to be a farmer or you have to be this not not in america anyway there are there are a lot of countries out there you know i you know but i, I think that uh, that uh, people uh, don't don't understand but if someone like me right if i did not exist if, if i existed in in somewhere other than america you know, like if me, like if I was talking about, you know, uh, I, I don't have a business and I, I, I started a business and, and, and I went from zero dollars to a quarter million dollars in one year. You know, if, if I was in some communist country, if I was not in America, you know, they could have me uh, dragged out onto the street and stoned to death. You know, uh, you know, uh, America is really the only country where uh, people who don't have any, you know, like if I don't have a business and I want to start a business, I don't have to ask the government. You know, I don't have to go and, and get permission from somebody to go and start my business. And if I make a quarter million dollars, let's say I start a business and I make a quarter million dollars, I don't have to, uh, you know, you know, you know, there are, you know, America's like really the only country that I, in, in terms of that I know of, that like I could start a business. And if I want to start a business and I, and I, and I make a quarter million, let's say I start a business and I make a quarter million dollars, I can invest the uh, the quarter million dollars and not pay income tax, right? And so I don't know of any other country that I could do that. I got a lot of these. You see these little birds back here? These little birds, you know, when it gets dark outside, these little birds they hide in the grass in the back. They're uh, like like this, a whole bunch of them. You don't even see them back there. And then you go, and then I remember uh, I went walking back there, and they all started to just popping out of the grass everywhere. But these little birds, they they always hiding in the grass in the back when it gets dark outside. But that's the thing, like, you know, imagine like a, me, uh, you know, if I was in a communist country, right? If I was in a communist country, if I started a business and I didn't have a business and I didn't, you know, I didn't ask the government for permission or anything like that. And I started a business and I found a way to make a quarter million dollars a year. You know, the, the government can make me disappear forever. I mean, this happens in, in communist countries all the time. That's the thing about that's a, that's that's the beauty of America is that if I want to start a business, I can. And whether I make it or not, it's up to me, right? And if I make a lot of money, you know, if I make a lot of money, I don't have to go and, and ask the government for permission. You know, I don't have to be worried that the government is going to, you know, uh, push me off a building or, you know, kidnap me in my sleep. I don't have to worry about that stuff. Not in America. You know, and it's like, oh, man, well, if, I, if I'm not in cohorts, uh, cohorts with the with the government, they're going to make me disappear forever. You know, in America, that, that's one of the beautiful things about being in, uh, in America is that 
you know, if I want to start a business, I can. I can do whatever I want. It's a free country. And so, yeah, but, but in terms of business, okay. So business, the thing about business is that when it comes to being in a business, that's easy, right? To the, well, I mean, there is no such thing as an easy business, okay? Let's get that uh, out of the way first, uh, you know. For whatever reason, there are specific difficulties in the business. You know, like even if I were to go and, you know, uh, you know, if I were trying, if, if my goal in life was to just, you know, uh, make a, let's say eighty, a hundred thousand dollars a year, right? If that was my goal in life. Okay, so the thing about money is that a lot of people they say that you know uh, when I look at somebody, I always take a look at them and, and okay, th this is something that I do when I look at somebody. I always take a very good hard look at them and I think about what does this man actually want. You know, because, uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, uh, everybody has a voice deep down inside of the inside of them. They have a voice deep down inside of them. Some people, they, uh, you know, but a lot of people, they, they deafen that voice. They, they don't they don't allow themselves to hear that voice inside of them. But everybody has a voice inside of them. And that voice, it, it uh. It, it, it's it's their deepest desires and it's like you know what does this person actually want not not what do they say they want what do they actually want that's something that i look for in in, in everybody you know when i when i when i when i you know that that's what i look for because you know deep down okay so the thing about farming or anything that's like skill based like farming the only reason to go into farming uh the only uh you know, because at the end of the day, people are going to have to make money, right? And if I were just going to be honest, the only real reason to go into farming is if somebody wants to be a phenomenal farmer. Because if at the end of the day, if they say they want to be a farmer, but that voice deep down is saying, hey, man, you know, if you made a, if you made a hundred thousand dollars a year, that's all, you know, that that's all that's all I actually want. They, they may say they want one thing, but the voice inside of them will be saying something else. And the voice inside of them is what is the truth. And so if they say, oh, man, I want to be a farmer, but they don't actually want to be a farmer. They just want to make some money. Well, if they make that money, they will they they, they will give up everything to make that money. They, they will legitimately they, they, they won't care about farming. They won't care about anything else. They will give up farming. You know, you know, the, you know, the, you know, it really, you know, that's the thing about business, right? Is that business, you know, it's the acknowledgement of, of the, the innermost, the innermost, uh, the innermost desire. You know, what, what does, you know, what, what is actually going on in, in the person? And so, you know. It really, you know, because like if I were going to try and make, if my goal in life, like me, you know, the, the voice deep down, right? If, if I had, you know, the, the voice deep down, I listen to my voice deep down. You know, when I can hear it, I listen to it, right? And, you know, you know, and, and it's kind of like this, uh, this kind of like this, uh, this situation where like me, you know, me, when I look back at my life. And I look at how did I get here, it's, uh, you know, and I would, uh, you know, there, there was an aspect of, yeah, you know, it's like, yeah, I did work, you know, I did work 15 years to get here, right, you know, I, I this, this, this did take me 15 years, when I look back at my life, it did take me 15 years to get here, right, to be able to do this, it took me 15 years, but there was also like an aspect of it where like the, un the universe had its, had its way with me as well. And it's and you know that that's uh, that's also the thing. It's like my belief in spirituality is that you know I don't I don't rely on God for things. My my mentality about God is that if if I work my hundred hours a week and, and and you know and I stick to it and I persevere, God got my back. That, that that's that's how I think about you know spirituality. I don't I don't sit here and and, and pray for good things to happen to me. You know I go and uh, and I just I just I just work my seven days a week. You know, usually my work schedule will go from seven in the morning until ten in the evening, seven days a week. 
And I figure if I do that and I and I and I stay about it and I don't uh, and I don't complain and I don't uh, you know and I don't have poor character and you know and I don't I don't blame uh, you know I don't uh, sit there and you know uh, blame others uh, for the outcomes of my life you know I don't make that the the the, uh, the absolute driving factor for my life that that uh, that that God has got my back, right? That, that that's 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 how I that's how I deal with spirituality. And the thing about business, okay, so like me, you know, okay, the the idea of a businessman is, is a little bit different because business people, like me, um, like if I were to go back, well, I mean, but that's the hard thing, right? It's like I can't give the exact on how to, how how to get here because. You know, I can give you know the you know the the things that when I look back on my life, these were things that made me successful. I can acknowledge that, but there was also an aspect of it that was not up to me. And so, you know, deep down, I think the thing that that all that got me the furthest was that deep down, the only thing I, I genuinely wanted to do was be a farmer. Deep down, like a regardless of the money regardless of everything you know because you know up until about the last year of my life i didn't make any money for me and i still did it you know i still stuck to it for 14 years you know i did what i could right even if it was just planting a uh, a couple rows of tomatoes to collect data you know i still did it and i did it while i was working you know while i was working seven days a week and so deep down, you know, the, the, the thing about me was that, you know, I didn't even really make money like this. And, you know, and, you know, and I mean, I made a lot of money. I mean, I made so much money that it, 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 that it, that it, it shook up my mother. I mean, my mother, when she saw my paycheck, she was like, dang, like my son making money. And so, you know, and me, you know, the thing about that is, you know, like me, you know, up until even last year, I didn't really make money. I, I, I never really even made money and I still did it. Right. And so, you know, yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, the thing about, you know, life and the thing about business is that, you know, deep down, if the only thing I want to be is a farmer, deep down, that has to be the thing, you know, deep down, the only thing that the person has to actually want is to be a farmer. Like, or whatever it is. I mean, you could want to be a football player. You could want to be a basketball player. You could be want to be a, a lawyer. It doesn't matter. A doctor, right? The deep down, that has to be the only thing that they actually want to be. Because if not, if there's something else deep down, oh, man, you know, I want, I want money. You know, deep down, they want money. Or deep down, they want something else. When they get, the, when they realize that they can get that something else, they will always go and get that something else, other than you know pursue something like a, like being a farmer, right? Like if like a, you know like let's say you know deep let's say I say I want to be a farmer, but deep down I want money. Well, I'll start farming, and then when I make money, I won't care about the farming anymore, and I'll just start caring about the money. And so you know. So, you know, if, you know to, to actually get this far, you know, deep down, you just got to want it. You just got to want it. I mean, that, that, I, mean I, I know that that's, that's kind of cheesy and a lot of people, they say that, but I mean, it is the honest truth. Deep down, you got you to want it and you got to want it more than anything else. It, 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 money or anything, money, uh, cars, whatever, you know, because, you know, a lot of people, they'll say that they want money but they don't actually want money they want a nice car they want a nice house you know they, they don't actually want the money because if they wanted money they would hold on to all the money that they made right because i mean everybody you know almost anybody can make money and if they actually wanted money they would just hold on to the money right i mean they don't actually want money they, they want they want they want the nice car right they want the nice house whatever it is i mean you know and and here's the thing right like if i made thirty thousand dollars a year for 30 years i would have made nine hundred thousand dollars right but you know and so technically that person would have lived the life of a millionaire over the 30 years they would have lived the life of the millionaire but they would have spent every single dollar that they made you know they wouldn't have an investment portfolio they wouldn't have you know you know they, they you know you know they they would you know 
that but that that goes to say that, that that's the truth for everything it doesn't matter how much money i make I, if i made thirty thousand dollars a year and i spent every single dollar i would have zero dollars if i made a hundred thousand dollars a year and i spent every single dollar i would have zero dollars if i made ten million dollars and spent every single dollar i would i would have zero dollars it doesn't matter what the amount of the money is and that's the thing about you know you know, it doesn't matter what, what what the amount of the money is. You know, it's like what is your investment portfolio? And okay, so I guess this is a good time to, uh, you know, uh, like talk about my uh, my my philosophy when it comes to an investment portfolio. It's like why did I buy land? Okay, so one of the things, you know, like let's say I were to go right now and I were to buy a raw piece of land. You know, and I was looking at land uh, the other day. I was looking at land maybe a uh, three or four days ago. I was looking through a. Uh, a real estate portfolio, uh, the the real estate portfolio program, the uh, the MLS or whatever it's called, and I was looking for land, okay, and I was crunching the numbers with the USDA, with the USDA rates and the lending terms on the USDA. And so if I went and I purchased a raw piece of land about half an hour away from here, away from Dallas, I could buy a, a ten acre piece of land for about a 12,000 an acre, so about $120,000. And so if I punch in the numbers, $120,000 on the USDA lending terms, that comes out, you know, at, a, at about a 4.5% interest rate with 0% down payment and no no insurance. It's only paying, a, you know, and no property tax. This is a true agriculturally exempt property. You know, the, the on the lending terms, I would be paying about five hundred dollars a month for that for that hundred twenty thousand dollars. And that five hundred dollars a month, it would not just be money going straight to the bank. It would be principal plus interest. And so principal is the money that I keep when I pay the bank. So if I sold it, let's say I pay five hundred dollars to the bank. And they said, okay, uh, you got two hundred fifty, or you got two hundred dollars of principal and three hundred dollars of interest. If I sold that that piece of land tomorrow in this very simplified situation, I would get two hundred dollars back. And so, you know, uh, depending, you know, uh, depending on how much excess cash flow you have, like me, you know, um, if I make like like me, you know, if, if I make, let's say, I make one hundred fifty thousand on this field, right? And I'm, or I make 150,000. Well, it wouldn't be 150. Maybe let, let's say I make 100,000. If I make 100,000 on my 10 acres and I live on 30, I have an excess cash flow of 70,000. And so, you know, depending on how much excess cash flow I have, the principal, I, you know, if I have, if I have an exorbitant amount of excess cash flow, you know, like if I, if I have $70,000 left over. I deduct the the amount of principal that I'm paying because the principal is essentially money that's going back to me. And so I really only think about the interest. And the interest on the loan on a business, I am relatively certain that that the interest on the loan can also be deducted from the income from income taxes. And so, you know, you know, like like me if I were to go back in time and I were to look at myself and I were to see, and I were to look at myself when I was, you know, uh, when I was first getting started. You know, I was uh, well. I mean, you know, I mean, but the only reason that I got to be this good at farming was because of me having gone through the things that I went through. And so, you know, if I went back to myself, I mean, that, that's the thing. Like, if I, I wouldn't change anything, right? I, I wouldn't go back and try and change things in time. But if I were to give honest advice. Like if somebody deep down is is certain that the only thing that they want to do in life is farm, from a, from you know what what you know if they if they are one hundred percent certain that that is the case, you know, uh, I would go to the bank and take a thirty year loan. I would take a thirty year loan as soon as possible. And if you want to take a loan, if 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 I were to go and take a loan from the bank, and this is also something that I need to get prepared. You know, I need, you know next year I want to buy more land. Because, you know, uh, I want to buy more land. And that's also another aspect of business is like if I make all this money, the only thing that I can really do with this money that, that makes reasonable sense is make more money with it. Like, like you know, like if, if I were to make, you know, $120,000 a year and I were to live on 30, I would still have 90000 left over. I could take a loan for the 30. 
and I could uh, invest the entirety of my capital into operating a business. And if my business, you know, if my business, if I invest 120, if I invest 120 and make a and make a half a million, you know, I would, I, you know, you know, I would, I would invest. It, it would be in my best interest, right? Like if I invested 120 thousand dollars and I made and I turned it into a half a million dollars. It would be in my best interest as a businessman to invest the 120, and so that's also you know there's a lot of things you know when it comes to when it comes to anything is there there it's a multi 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 dimensional situation, you know there, there, it's not an it's not an easy answer, and so you know you know it really 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 depends right, and so you know. You know, like if I were genuinely, 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 like if I went back in time and I said, or I mean, I'm not even gonna say if I went back in time because if I went back in time, I would just watch me. You know, I would just watch me and I and I, and I wouldn't say nothing. You know, I just let it be. You know, and you know because I, at this point in my life, I'm doing very well for myself. I mean, you know, you know why why change it, right? I mean, you know when things are hard, I may want, I may think that oh man, I want to change this and I want to change that. But if it, you know, this is how it turned out at the end, and you know, I just let it be, and so you know, you know. But but if I were gonna give honest advice, you know, like like let's say if I had to, if I if I wanted to buy a ten acre piece of land, and deep down the only thing I genuinely wanted to do was be a farmer, and I was willing to spend my whole life doing it, seven days a week. And, you know, and if I went out and I saw a 10 acre piece of land or even a 20 acre piece of land, you know, because a 10 acre piece of land going to cost about 500 a month, a 20 acre piece of land going to cost about a thousand a month. And a, and, and a portion of that is, is a principal payment. And so that money's going back to me or whoever the, the lender, who, whoever the borrower is, you know, and, you know, realistically, like if I wanted to take a loan for $120,000 on a 30 year term at a 4.5% interest, and I didn't have to pay interest on it, or excuse me, and I didn't have to pay uh, insurance on it, and I didn't have to provide a down payment according to the USDA loan term, something like that. You know, I'd have to make three times the uh, the, the, the borrowing, uh, I would have to make three times the payment. So if I had to pay $500 a month, I would have to make, I would have to show the bank that I make, I make $1,500 a month. And this is also something that I'm looking to get prepared right now is that next year I wanna buy more land. You know, because it's not really in my best interest to just sit here and you know and make 120 thousand a year. It's, I mean, the uh, you know, I'm just gonna end up paying a whole bunch of taxes if I do that. And so, you know, you know, if I if I want to borrow uh, 120 thousand from the bank on a 30 year term, and the bank says you're gonna owe me 500 dollars a month, I need to show the bank that I make 1500. And so, like me right now, you know, I would say that you know. Right now, if I went to the bank, I mean, right now, if I went to the bank, I mean, they're going to be like, oh, my God, you make like three hundred fifty thousand a year. But I don't make three hundred fifty thousand a year because I got expenses. And so, you know, at the end of the day, if I make three hundred fifty, I really only come home with about one twenty. And so, you know. And so, you know, and then and then the one twenty, I invest all of it into my cattle business. We, I invested back into my cattle business, but my cattle business, I mean. You know, if I were to take a look at the gross, the the uh, the gross income on my field, I'd probably make uh, over a quarter million dollars. And but if I look at my net income, it's it's going to be a lot less, right? Because I got expenses. And so that's one of the things that I'm getting myself ready for is that I'm gonna need to show the bank if I want to borrow a half a million dollars, the bank's gonna say, okay, you owe uh, you owe uh, you owe two thousand or twenty five hundred dollars a, a month. I'm going to need to show the bank that I make at least 7500 a month of excess income to, for them to lend me that much money. And so that's something that I got to fiddle forward around with uh, by, by, uh, within the next six months. That's one of the six month goals that I have is that I need to fiddle forward around and see uh, and see, uh, you know, how do I get my, uh, my my tax paperwork prepared? But, you know, tax paperwork is something that I'm always thinking about. Right. Oh, you know, my, my taxes are due in six months, you know, uh, you know, what can I invest in to mitigate my tax burdens and, you know, and, and grow, you know, because the thing about taxes is that if I hold on to cash, if I hold on to money, I don't really get to hold on to the money. The money goes to the government as taxes. And so there's a lot of things, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that need to get done. 
And so, you know, it's a multi, multi, multi dimensional situation. And so, you know, like if I were to go, like, let's say me right now, I were to go and I were to buy a 50 acre field tomorrow. My biggest goal for that 50 acre field would be to find some way, you know, some way. It doesn't matter, you know, if it takes me 100, 100 freaking hours a week for five, for five years straight. I have to find some way to make $2,500 a month on that field so that I can utilize the cash flow from the farm to pay for the debt service. So if the bank lends me money, they've that's called debt service. They've lent me, they've provided me a service. The bank has provided me a service. They've given me the money. And by, by giving me the money, they provided me a service. And, and for that service, I have to pay interest. And so, you know, like if the bank were to lend me a half a million dollars, I would, you know, you know, I would take the money. This is me as a businessman. My first priority would be to take the half a million dollars and invest the half a million dollars in a way that generates me $2,500 a month. I would have to find a way some way, even if I died trying, I would have to find a way to make $2,500 a month because then I could pay the bank back. I could I could pay the debt service. I could pay the money back to the bank with the money that I with the money that they gave me that I invested. And then you know, uh, and then even if that if that was all that I accomplished, I would still be netting something like a thousand dollars a month because a portion of that twenty five hundred dollar payment would be principal. You know, it's not just all money going to the bank. A portion of that money is principal. And so that would be my first goal. You know, and and. You know, it doesn't matter how much the monthly pay. You know, if I bought a 10 acre field for $500 a month, even if I died trying, I would have to find a way to make $500 a month on that field. You know, so I could pay the bank back with the, the money that they gave me. You know, and so, yeah, I mean, uh, that, that that is what I would do. You know, 100% got to find a way to, and, you know, and, and the thing about owning a business is that business, you know, it also is a pool of equity. Like my business right here, if I went to the uh, the appraiser, if I went to a business appraiser and I showed them my paperwork and I said, hey, you know, I make about I make about three hundred fifty thousand dollars a year on my farm and I net profit about one hundred twenty thousand. Or let's say I make a hey, you know, I, 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 I gross about one and a half million dollars a year, but I net I net half a million the appraiser is going to take a look at that and they're going to give me a, okay your a value for what my business is worth and so businesses retain value as well and so businesses build equity as well just like real estate or just like any other equitable investment businesses businesses retain value as well and so you know depending you know it's but, but business and stuff like that is a multi, 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 multi-dimensional situation, and, and a lot of things need to be uh, need to be considered. And you know, uh, and the thing about being a business owner is that business legitimately become like business for me is my life. Everything else is secondary. The only thing that I think about seven days a week is business. You know, like a, uh, you know, like if I got if I got if I got uh, you know. Uh, Whatever else going on, the only thing that I really think about seven days a week on a regular, regular, like from morning to evening is my business, legitimately. And that's what being a business owner is. It's legitimately a 24-7 thing. I mean, even in my dreams, when I sleep, I dream about my business. I dream about my farm. And so business is legitimately, and, and you know, and you know, and it feels like, like, uh, like, like if me, like if, if I wanted to, if I wanted to, you know, if the voice deep down was saying, hey man, you should start a business so you can make some money. I wouldn't start a business, you know, I would just go and find another way to make money, you know, do some kind of a commission, some kind of commission work, do some kind of a, you know, you know, something, you know, like a, like a route, like a route, uh, you know, do something else, you know, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't go into owning a business, you know, the only reason I own this business is because the only thing that I genuinely want to do is be a farmer, legitimately, I mean, that's the only reason. And so, you know, but it's a multi, multi, multi dimensional situation. There is not an easy answer. There is nothing that I can say that will save anybody or, or really be of, of, of a lot of like a specific, you know, but this is all general information and, and people can do whatever they want with it. I'm just talking about my life. And if and if somebody finds some uh, piece of information that that benefits them, 
then so be it, right? I mean, that's that's about all I can do. I can't I can't go out and I can't save anybody, and I can't really give anybody specifically good advice. But at a certain point, you know, uh, money. The only really logical thing to do with money is to invest it to make more money. Because if I if I if I go in, like and I and I uh, do something, like I use the money on something like clothes or something like that. Not only did I use the money that I have, but now I also have to pay taxes on the money that I earn. And so, you know, at a certain point, the only really logical thing to do with money is to make more money with it. That needs to be goal number one. And so that's it for me today, YouTube. Y'all have a good one.